the best DMZ players understand how to take down full teams in DMZ even solo. Today, I'm going to explain my thought process as a solo DMZ player when I'm approaching a full squad. Now, I'm going to give you a hint. It's not all about hitting your shots. Even the best miss, I promise. But with this strategy, winning more fights in DMZ is much easier. Let's jump right into it. My comms vest just went off. There's a squad of operators around me and I look down and they're right here. So the first tip I'm going to offer you guys is to try to take out one of the teammates or even two from afar to try to make the fight a little more even, especially as a solo player. As you can see, I successfully knocked this guy and I take him down twice, but little did I know they were going to get the res multiple times in this fight and it ended up being a 1v3 multiple times. So as I come down here, I can hear their procs chat. I miss my knife. I get him and now I know. Now I'm panicking here and I'm running away, trying to find a new location because I need to get away from these guys so they don't know where I am, right? And that way they can regroup and I can move and come at them from a whole different angle. This whole game is about surprising your enemy, especially when you're a solo player. So it's a little bit more difficult than you might think. You can't just run up on someone and take them all down. It doesn't work, especially when you're solo. Now, as I move around here, I'm trying to figure out where these guys are. Right there, I see both of them again and they got the res off. Now I'm backing off again and as you've noticed, I didn't take that full fight the first time because I would have died. Even if I could have knocked that guy, his teammate would have gotten me and I would have been dead right there. Now I'm moving around again to try to find a better angle on these guys and I see that guy rezzing and I take him down. So as of right now, there's two full dead on the ground. Now you have to keep in mind that these guys could be rezzing again. So I'm watching the res, waiting for some kind of noise notification to let me know which way they are moving and whatnot. And I'm just trying to get this guy's location. And it turned out to be a little bit more tricky than I expected as he was right there and he almost caught me with that grenade. He could have gotten me there. He probably had his grenade out, but he could have really damaged me there. As I come around this corner, I expected him to come around that corner because of the way he was moving. And then that's all three of them. Now, in the end, these guys knew who I was, so I picked them up. Obviously, if you guys are new here and you enjoy content like this, drop a like, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. But I want you guys to know two things you need to keep in mind when you do stuff like this in DMZ. Rotation, location. You don't need the best gun game in the world to take down these fights. All you need to do is learn location rotation. I've been talking about this for a while. I'm pretty sure by now it's my motto. And when you hear it, a lot of people probably think of videos I've put out before this. But as a solo player, you really need to take any advantage you can get. And this is one of those times where you find advantages and then you take them down one by one. Being able to separate them is key to winning every single fight you come across. Even as a six man, I do this as a six man too. Don't stay in one place, constantly be moving around. I promise if you apply those two tips alone, you will see a drastic change in your fight win ratio. A lot of people will try to come at you with more than one person and that's okay. However, what you need to do is relocate, get yourself out. The chances if you keep running around or finding a building you can run around and hide or just keep moving in general, chances are you're going to get them separated at some point and then you just take them down one by one. Now, if all three of these guys were together at one point and they all had their guns pointed at me, I would have lost, guaranteed. That's just how it is. You're not gonna, you can't shoot three people at one time, right? I mean, unless you have a rocket launcher. But if you separate them individually, like I did, you can take them down one by one. And if you're not confident, 
don't take fights you don't feel confident in taking. I know a lot of people don't uh, say this or talk about this, but I only take fights I'm confident I can win. At the beginning of this fight, I knew after sniping them and the way they were moving and how I could snipe them multiple times before they even decided to do anything, I was going to win this fight. I just needed to figure out a way to get them separated. And that's when I jumped down. Now, I didn't expect that first guy to pop out and be in the back just like that because that was a little crazy. But taking fights you know you can win is better. Obviously, if you're wearing a comms vest and you get an idea or a call out that there's a platoon around you, I try to take as much high ground as I possibly can just to get a scope for the situation. And if I feel like after seeing them either split up or they just look like someone that isn't playing very coordinatedly, I can take that fight. If not, I'll just wait it out and or leave or run away. Don't take every fight. That's how you lose a lot of fights. Just taking these random fights. And if someone comes up on you and you don't have the advantage, run, get to a new location, find a new building and everything else. I know a lot of people will be like, oh, well, that's not a manly thing to do or that's not what good players do. I have over a thousand hours in this game and you guys have seen me take down multiple platoons. I've I have absolutely dominated in DMZ and the tips I'm giving you in this video are so useful. I promise you guys, if you can apply what I'm saying, you will be 10 times better than you are right now. It, it, it's a lot to ask, but really just give it a shot. Next time you run into a team, think about the process. Think about it, rotation, location. Think about what ways you could go, what ways they could go. Understand the ways they can move and stuff around you and keep yourself open to change. This one video alone should make you better at DMZ. If you apply this, drop a like to help other players just like you and subscribe for more DMZ content. I stream right here on YouTube daily. I hope you guys enjoyed. GG's.